The project that I'm present here is the UNISON, a unified semantic coding of next generation 16 data enhance the detection of uh, colonial hematopoiesis of uh, indeterminate potential, in short, uh, CHIP. So what is a CHIP? So CHIP represents a pre-malignant state uh, so in which the leukemia drive genes carry the somatic mutation, but the individuals who carry this somatic mutation is still not defined as a, a hematological uh, knee plasma. So chip, why we are care about the chip? So chip has been linked to an increased risk of uh, developing the blood cancer and cardiovascular disease. So previous uh, several seminal study demonstrated the feasibility of identifying the chip with the regular who exome sequencing or who genome sequencing, so where the coverage is usually is not optimal. But uh, the limitation that they can detect usually is uh, VNF above 10%. So here we develop a unison and ultra sensitive uh, and a highly scalable bioinformatic workflow which can accurately detect the chip even with a much lower VNF. So basically we adopted the, we, we, the first step, we simulated the data based on the public uh, genome in a bottle uh, data. The genome is already well characterized, uh, so we know that we, which one is the germline in those uh, genome. So through this uh, simulation, this uh, chip genome, uh, the, oh, the chip that we, uh, we grabbed from the previous study, which is roughly 2,500 uh, chips. So through simulating these chips, uh, uh, the first step is uh, we try to benchmark which color is most sensitive. So in, uh, in, in addition to benchmark 10 open source uh, uh, variant color, we also developed one in-house variant color and uh, which actually is, uh, can track the every variation uh, variation side that uh, even with one alternative reader support. So through this benchmarking, so we develop a mental color which include two uh, mutec two and the verdict plus our own in-house color. So this mental color. Uh, has a very high sensitivity, but you can imagine the precision is very low because uh, there's a massive of uh, sequencing artifact that was also called uh, with the, as the variant uh, candidate. So the next step, we try to explore the machine learning approach to try to see that how can we uh, dig the, the tr truly cheap from uh, the massive uh, raw variant color. So we assessed the four supervised machine learning model and uh, among them that the XGB boost and the random forest demonstrated the high predictive power from a mental color output. So the, se <coughs> the second step is uh, we try to use uh, the real life data to uh, assess the performance of this uh, workflow. So we sequenced a cohort of 25 subjects in Mayo Clinic, in Mayo Chip Clinic. And uh, for these 25 subjects, the ground truth already available, which was defined by the expert in Chip Clinic through sequencing the high depth panel. So Finally, oh, so this step that we demonstrated that this workflow can give uh, roughly 80% of a recall. And also in terms of precision, so for 20, uh, so for each uh, subject, uh, we roughly have uh, a very big number of uh, raw variant call, uh, nailed down to roughly 10 uh, candidate, cheap candidate uh, per subject. So finally, uh, in order to show that uh, the utility of this bioinformatic workflow, we applied to the Mayo Clinic uh, Biobank uh, cohort, uh, which uh, 1, 000, uh, roughly 1,000 uh, subjects that uh, they have the whole genome sequencing available. So we found that the, the Unison demonstrates a high sensitivity in detecting chips with the whole exome sequencing data and uh, through implement the mental color. And also we found that those top mutated genes and the chip mutation uh, patterns, they are very consistent with the previ previous finding. And also 
we through the uh, the through the statistical analysis we found that uh, cheap from a cheap associated with the age smoking uh, status and the third germline mutation so those all were, was uh, previously reported so through this we demonstrate the utility of this uh, bioinformatics workflow